Hello everyone and welcome to C++ Tutorials. In this tutorial, we explain how to correctly install a simple to use C++ compiler on a Windows 11 computer. Everything explained in this video tutorial applies to other Windows version. To install the compiler, we will install MinGW. MinGW is a free and open source software development environment to create Windows applications. However, the main thing about MinGW is that it includes a port of the GNU compiler collection or GCC. Those of you who are familiar with Linux Ubuntu systems are very well familiar with GCC. GCC contains a set of tools for compiling and debugging C and C++ programs. So to summarize, we are going to install a GCC C++ compiler and we are going to install it by installing MinGW. Let's start immediately. First of all, let's look in, at the general picture. You have several approaches to install MinGW. One approach is to go to the source force forge website and to search for MinGW or you can simply go to this website over here. Now, over here you can download the installation, however, this installation is a little bit outdated in my opinion. A better approach, and the approach I'm using, is to go to this website. Simply type newwen.net and search for minvhtml or simply search for newven.net mingw. And over here you need to download the compiler, or better to say to download mingw. Here you need to click on this file. This is a self-extracting extracting, extracting archive. So let's click on this file and let's download this file and let's put it in the downloads folder. Here it is. Okay. Besides downloading this file, you need to download and install 7-zip. Consequently, go to the 7-zip website or simply Google 7-zip and download this file. For those of you who are not familiar with 7-zip, 7-zip is a simple to use and free, which is more important, extraction tool. So click here to download 7-zip and save it. Then go to the downloads folder and double click on this uh, program and this will install 7-zip. Okay. I already have 7-zip on my computer and I don't need to do that. The next step is to download Git for Windows. So simply Google download Git for Windows and you will be directed to this web page over here or better to say to this web page. And then go over here, click on Downloads and select Windows and over here click to download or better to say click on this installer and download. Then go to the Downloads folder double click on the file and this will install git and the final step before you can actually install mingw is to go to the git cli cli is a command line tool or simply click on this website cli github.com or search cli github and click here on download for windows and then click on save and then go over here and double click on the downloaded file some of these files might not be necessary, however, still try to download them, it's not going to take a while, it's going to be smooth. Also, you might need Git for other applications. Okay, once you do that, open a command prompt and make sure that you can type Git and as the result you should obtain something like this. Good. Let's continue further. Now go back to the downloads folder and double click on the mingw file. So here it is. So let me now zoom in. This is actually the file we'll down, we downloaded. This is a self extracting, extracting archive. And over here, let's specify the name as mingw. Now it's going to take a while to extract everything since th this uh, complete folder contains a large number of files. However, here you have remaining files. If the extraction process is slow, then click over here and disable your antivirus software, at least while this file is being downloaded. Okay, now if you double click on this folder, you will find this mingw folder, so explore it. So here it is, and this folder contains the executables, that is the binaries of GCC as well as other tools. 
you don't need to do anything else. The idea will be very simple. We are going to copy this folder somewhere on our C drive. So let's do this. Let's copy here and then let's go to our C drive and then let's paste it over here and let's be patient. The next step is to add a subfolder called binaries from this folder to our system path such that we can actually run GCC as well as other tools such as GDB which is a debugger. Okay, so let's wait until this process completes. After some time you will see this folder called MinGW. So let's open this folder and go inside of the binaries folder. Over here you will see all the executables. To compile a C++ program we will need a file called GCC. Here it is. Of course here you have other compilers. Okay, so the next step is to add this path to our system path such that we can run GCC from the command line. So let's copy this, then go over here, search for edit environment system environment variables, click here, click on environment variables, let me just turn off the mouse highlighter since it doesn't work, and then over here we need to modify the path, so double click here, that is double click on the path, and then let's click on new and over here paste this file, or actually this folder path, so it should be C min G W bin, and that's exactly the path that you can see over here, which is very, very important. Okay, once we do that, make sure that over here you click on OK and make click, click OK once again and click OK. Now we are ready to test G++. To do that, click over here, search for command prompt, and over here in the command prompt, try to, try to, try to type G++ double dash version. And as the result, you should see something like this. If you see this, this means that most likely G++ is properly installed on your system. However, here's one final check. Let's try to compile a file. For that purpose, let's create a folder, test codes. Let's navigate to this test code folder and let's open with the notepad a file. And let's call it as a test.cpp and let's open it and let's save it and let's over here first of all let me close this okay so this is another one i need to don't save and then this is it okay good don't save i don't need this part over here inside of this file let's write a basic program so let's type include io stream let me now do this so you can see let's use using namespace std here it is and then over here let's do the following let's simply write int main function and over here let's return zero okay and inside over here let's do this see out hello world hello world and then let's do end line to end everything. So let's save this file, let's close this, and let's try to compile this file. Let's now try to compile this file. First of all, let's make sure that the file is properly located by typing this command. So here it is. Let me now minimize this so you can see what I'm typing. Good. Here's the file. To use G++, you need to type G++, then let's use all the available options that is the debugger itself and the compiler will give us a number of warnings if there are warnings and let's type test.cpp this is our um, source file and then let's type the name of the executable let it be test and let's see what will happen no error and then we can type test and if you see hello world congratulations you have properly install a GCC compiler on Windows and you can continue further with the compilation process and with coding process. Good luck and see you in the next video tutorial.